This is Alan Halfhill here at NEB New York for Personal View, and I'm interviewing, interviewing Fernando at the ICANN booth, and you have something new here. Yeah, Alan. Uh, firstly, thank you for having us on Personal View. We're very, very delighted. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. So we're going to talk about this uh, DS2A gimbal, which is our latest gimbal that we just released. It's been a hot product here at the show. So this is a mirrorless angled motor gimbal. So what do I mean by that? Very simple. You see this motor here? It used to be behind the screen. Now it's actually out of the way. So you have full visibility of the screen. And you can rebalance this camera even better in capabilities because you can slide this further backwards. Why would you want to do that? I mean, if you have a mirrorless system, people are adapting Canon lenses, uh, Nikon lenses. There's so many different options to... A little bit adapt. heavier lenses. Yeah, yeah, heavier lenses. What that makes the camera is front heavy. Now, balance that on the gimbal, just, it's, it is a challenge because you can only go back so much. So with the motor being out the way, you can slide this guy further back and find your balance a lot better, make it easier to work with, you know, and also you increase the life of the, the gimbal. I see you have a Manfrotto plate on it. Yeah. Well, actually, this Manfrotto plate is, um, it, it, it is a Manfrotto mount, however, but the gimbal does come with its own plate. I like to kind of keep the Manfrotto plate on there because sometimes I'll just swatch, swap out from the gimbal straight onto the tripod. Which totally makes so much sense and very convenient. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, I can go handheld. You know, it's always that one handheld look and stabilized shots actually do help. And then you can go onto the tripod right away. Or you could always put the gimbal on the tripod since it's a 3 8 mount. So, this is uh, the, one of the accessories. This is the tripod that actually screws on, as you can see there. Yeah, I see. That's nice that you've added a tripod, because it makes it very helpful when you're balancing the camera. Oh, for sure. Yeah, and it's actually very easy to, screw, to take off. It's literally just a screw. Um, that's it. And that's a 3-8 screw, not, not a quarter point. That's a 3-8 screw. So, it'll go directly... Yep, that's 3 3.8 screw, and that will go directly on a tripod, you know, base. Yeah, that's correct. You just, you know, set it on down to the camera plate, or it's camera base. Now, there's, this camera offers um, five different modes, five different profiles. We're going to go to profile one. So, profile one locks the camera into place. Now, what I'm doing here is adjusting my uh, camera to face a certain plane. Okay. So... so Profile one here, as you can see, no matter where I move, the camera's always going to be facing the same direction. Right. Um, really cool feature about this is that you can go upside down if you wanted to. Uh, secondly, you can grab the camera. Most gimbals will freak out if you actually grab it. You can grab it, and hold your shot for two seconds, and that's your shot. So, profile two enables... That's really helpful. Oh, yes, yes. Profile two enables the... Um, the panning capability so you can pan it's perfect for like an event like this or if you're following a subject weddings or whatnot now it locks the tilt but you can still pan over so if you get creative with it you can actually put a monopod on here you can get a longer shot extended reach I mean have very creative possibilities with this uh, new feature here so profile 3 Profile 3 now enables all the different motors, so you can do a tilt, tilt up, full pan, you can even grab it and hold it for two seconds, and that's in capability in all the features. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and roll for, uh, mo Profile 4, what it does, it actually rolls the camera. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, rolls the camera. That's an interesting profile. Now, the last profile is Profile 5. This is actually my favorite one. Um, you go to one, two, three, four, five. You just press the mode button five times. You hear it beeping. What I'm going to do is set my endpoint. So set your endpoint, hold it for a second. You'll feel a jolt. And then go to position, position A. You'll feel the jolt. Now it stopped beeping. It's actually activated. So you'll see the camera. It's smart. moving. Yeah. It's actually moving. Yeah. Now you told me there's a smartphone app as well. Oh, yeah. The smartphone app is the newest thing we've introduced. We introduced a... Uh, Bluetooth into these gimbals. Um, one of the things you can do with this is change the settings of the uh, the speed, the, r the feathering. Now, something really cool I'm looking forward to is um, I don't have it set up right now, but you can actually use your phone as a mimic. Okay, so it's only on the iPhone for now, but you once you connect it to the gimbal, you can actually mimic 
the gimbal will mimic whatever movements you do with the cell phone. So if you're like on a crane or something, you could have that on the end and add, tilt up and down and do it totally remote? That's one, that's one way to do it. You can go on profile two and lock it in, lock in the tilt, and you know, just do a jib movement and you have a second person, you know, operating it. It's, it's endless. Again, you know, these will never replace ENG or uh, cinema level productions, but it is a good supplementary, um, you know, camera to use. So, but yeah. That's very, very, very cool. And then you uh, have uh, a ring I see here as well. Oh, so this is a gimbal ring. This is our latest uh, design. Let's set, get that out the way there. So what I like about this unit is actually very easy. It's very straightforward. Um, it's a great finished qual uh, quality product and it's very simple. It's literally just a ring that allows you to adapt your gimbals to it. Now the way to adapt that, the way to adapt that is by adapting this plate onto the bottom of the gimbal. That's really cool. And of course I assume that works with all your beholders. Yes, it does work with all the beholders as long as the plate is a 3 8 As you can see, this is the screw right here. It is a 3 8 and we're going to slide this right onto the mount. Well, here, before I do that, why don't you feel the weight of this gimbal uh, ring? That's a pretty lightweight frame. You yeah. Know? yeah. What, a pound or two at the most? Less right. than two pounds. Less than two pounds. Yeah, it's, it's very light. It's, it's actually pretty light, lightweight. So, you know, this is great if you're doing a longer shot. Uh, if you want to mount a light, a monitor, a microphone just be able to you know comfortably get your longer shots as well uh gimbals are fun and everything but they do tend to you know wear you out after 15 minutes of use so but this gimbal ring this gimbal ring is retailed right now at 199 and the gimbal the ds2-a is listed at 749. thank you and that's available now that is available now well yeah, go to ICANN Corp, uh, go to you know all of the different vendors that we have online. You'll be able to find it all across the board. Well, thank you so much for showing it to me, Fernando. And this is the ICANN booth. My name's Alan Halfhill, and I work for Personal View, and we are here at NAB in New York. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you later.